Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on how we can diagonalize an n cross n matrix. So let's take our problem. So our problem is we have to reduce the matrix A. It is a 3 cross 3 matrix having 3 rows and 3 columns to the diagonal form. So let's solve this problem. To reduce a matrix into the diagonal form, we have to find out the modal matrix. And this modal matrix, it is formed by the eigenvectors and the eigenvectors are formed by the eigenvalues. So first of all, we have to find out the eigenvalues of this matrix A. So we will first write the characteristic equation of matrix. So the characteristic equation of A is So this determinant of lambda i minus a equals to 0, this equation is the characteristic equation. And the roots of this characteristic equation, they are the eigenvalues of the matrix A. So first we will find out this characteristic equation, lambda i, so lambda multiplied with the identity matrix because a matrix is 3 by 3 matrix so we have to take the 3 by 3 identity matrix here minus a we we have to find out the determinant of this so first we will multiply the lambda with the identity matrix and then subtract the a matrix and then we will find the determinant lambda minus minus 1 so it is lambda plus 1 then we have 0 minus 2 minus 2 0 minus minus 2 it is 2 0 minus 1 minus 1 lambda minus 2 it is lambda minus 2 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus minus 1 1 0 minus minus 1 it is again 1 and lambda minus 0 it is lambda. So this is matrix we have obtained then we will find out the determinant of this. So determinant of lambda i minus a lambda plus 1 multiplied with lambda minus 2 into lambda minus of 1 multiplied with minus 1 then we have minus 2 here so we will have minus of minus 2 then minus 1 into lambda that is minus lambda minus of minus 1 then we have plus 2 for this we will multiply minus 1 2 into 1 that is minus 1 and minus of 1 into lambda minus 2 it is lambda minus 2. So this is how the determinant is calculated. You have to first pick this first element lambda plus 1 then you have to hide the column and the row containing this element and then multiply the rest of the elements lambda minus 2 into lambda minus of 1 into minus 1 okay then you have to take the second element you have to hide the row and the column and then uh, rest elements are to be multiplied so in this way the determinant is calculated so let's multiply all the elements 
lambda minus 2 multiplied with lambda so lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 1 minus of minus 2 plus 2 minus lambda plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus lambda and plus 2 Let's solve this equation. So here we have lambda plus 1 multiply with this. Here we have minus 2 lambda plus 2 and then we have 2 and inside we have minus lambda plus 1. So it will become minus 2 lambda plus 2. So when we are going to solve this, we will get the characteristic equation as lambda cube minus lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 5. This is the characteristic equation of matrix A. So we have to find out the roots of this characteristic equation because uh, this is not a quadratic equation. So we can find out the roots by minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So by this formula, we are going to calculate the roots. So the roots are going to come out to be lambda equals to 1 and we have the imaginary roots plus minus root 5. So these are the roots of this characteristic equation or we can say these are the eigenvalues of the matrix A. Now we will take one by one all the eigenvalues and for those eigenvalues we will calculate the eigenvectors. First we will take lambda equals to 1. So for this eigenvalue, the eigenvector will be lambda 1 i minus a into x equals to 0. So x will be the eigenvector. So we will have this lambda 1 i minus a. What we will do, we have already calculated lambda i minus a. We are going to just put the value 1 over there and just substitute that value here. We have calculated the lambda i minus a. This was lambda plus 1 minus 2, 2 minus 1, lambda minus 2. So here we are going to put lambda equals to 1. So 1 plus 1, it will be 2 minus 2, 2 minus 1, 1 minus 2 minus 1 here, 1, 1 and 1. Now this x, x is having the elements x1, y1, z1 equals to 0. We are going to multiply these and because they will form three equations having three variables. So we can easily find out the value of x1, y1 and z1. So we will multiply these uh, two matrices. So we will get 2x1 minus 2y1 plus 2z1 equals to 0 minus x1 minus y1 minus z1 equals to 0. So we have three equations and three unknown variables x1, y1, z1. So we are going to solve these equations and by solving this we will get the value of x1, y1 and z1. x1 will be 1, y1 will be 0 and z1 will be minus 1. You can solve these three equations and you can find out the values of x1, y1 and z1. Now next we are going to take the second eigenvalue. We have plus minus root 5. So second eigenvalue we will take as root 5. Again we have the lambda i minus a. We are going to just substitute the value of lambda over there.
okay so lambda 2 here we have root 5 so we were first having the value of lambda i minus a as this so we will put root 5 here so 1 plus root 5 root 5 minus 2 and here also root 5 Then we have x here, x2, y2, z2 equals to 0. Again, we will multiply. We will have here root 5 plus 1 into x2. Then we have minus 2y2 and plus 2z2. So again we have three equations and three unknown variables so we can solve this and we will get the value of x2 as root 5 minus 1, y2 as 1 and z2 as minus 1. So we have got our second eigenvector. Now the third eigenvalue we have minus root 5. Again, we are going to put this into the lambda i minus a into x. Equals to 0. Here we have lambda 3 is minus root 5. So minus root 5 plus 1. Then we have minus 2. Minus 2 and 2. Minus 1. And x is x3, y3 and z3 equals to 0. Again, we will multiply these. We will get the equations as So we have three equations and three unknown variables. Their values, if we will solve, x3 will be root 5 plus 1, y3 is minus 1, and z3 is 1. So we have, for three eigenvalues, we have the three eigenvectors. x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, and z2, and x3, y3, and Z3. So this is our modal matrix N. If we substitute all the values here, we were having x1 as 1, 0, minus 1. x2, y2 and z2 were root 5, minus 1. Then we have 1 and minus 1. Then we have x3, y3 and z3 as root 5 plus 1, minus 1 and 1. So this is our modal matrix. Now our question was we have to reduce the matrix A into the diagonal form. So our A matrix will now be converted into M inverse A M. When we will solve this, we will get the matrix as the diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are the eigenvalues 1, root 5 and minus root 5. So in this problem, we have diagonalized a non-diagonal matrix into a diagonal matrix 
that is we have converted a into the diagonal form we first calculated the modal matrix and then if we calculate the inverse of the modal matrix and then calculate m inverse am then we can diagonalize any matrix by this method so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you